and it started moving from like wall to wall. Yeah, so it's just knocking all over the place. So at this point, I'm like, "Yo, get the fuck out of here!" So the next time it happened, she turns on her flashlight. Yeah. As soon as she turns it on, the knocking stopped like yeah. immediately. She's dead. So we're like, "What the fuck?" And then I couldn't sleep. I was like, "Yo, we're gonna die!" Like I. So she's like, "Oh, just to be safe, get your knife from the book bag." Mm-hmm. Grab my switchblade. No, my right. machete. No. Grab my machete out. All right, real quick. it was a pocket knife. No, I'm not that tough. I didn't even want to get up to get it. Right, to be honest, <laughs> I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not dying." No. <laughs> I'm not dying uh, trying to get a knife. And then she's like, "Check the window. Did you lock the window?" And I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, I checked it. Didn't check it. I was yeah. fucking terrified, you know." So then this keeps going for about an hour, dude, and like around four o'clock in the morning, I hear footsteps upstairs. Is there an upstairs to Bro, this place? <laughs> is... I almost shitted myself. Uh-huh. It was fucking the scariest feeling knowing that you're hearing noises and you don't know where to go. Right. Like, cause I was like, all right, if I wake everybody up, I'm make a big ass scene. And then what, we're going to sleep in the car. Like we're in the yeah. middle of nowhere, you know? So if you frequently visit somewhere, you... well, a unit's just like a big dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking like a regular, like, like no. he's a regular at no, the store. No, he's like, a regular. <laughs> that's why I was like. God damn, he became a unit? I didn't get it. I was trying to make that <laughs> No, make so sense. apparently a unit is just like a big dude, you know? Oh, and shit. in my head, a unit was always like a fucking, like a, also a big dude, but like a jack dude. Oh, yeah. Because in my head, that makes a, like more a sense. Like a soldier. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. this dude's a fucking unit. Like, he'll fuck you yeah. up, you know? But apparently it's just a fat dude. Just a heavy dude? Yeah, it's just a heavy dude. Just a, his name's like... Fucking Gregory or Gre- something. Yeah, I was thinking like someone with a G, like yeah. Girth. Girth. Yeah. <laughs> His name is his name Girth, is Girth Girth McGee. Well, his parents just set him up for failure. Wow, but, the skinniest kid in the world. Yeah. Hey, like, Girth, get on over here. <laughs> All right, so you're you're oh, talking with your boy Girth. I'm talking to Girth, rolls the window down, and then he's like, uh, "Yeah, you guys have been here before." We're like, "Oh no, from out of town." Like, yeah. we just googled it. He goes, "Oh man, what do you what are you guys getting?" And then yeah. we essentially placed order with him. With him, you know, yeah. and he goes. Yeah, I'd be careful getting that uh, big Clyde burger. That'll feed all three of you. <laughs> they're like, what? He goes, yeah, that's a big, uh, it's a big burger. It's a big ass. It burger. was like a triple burger, like with I don't know, whatever. Yeah. You know, what if a fucking uh, koala attacks me or some shit? You know, I don't. I'm not trying to stab the. Yeah, but you got a machete his ass. Well, yeah, but what if I? Oh, I what if I take the pocket knife instead of the machete? Because now I can do small knife things to like cut trees or some shit. You know, but wouldn't you rather cut trees with a bigger knife too? Yeah, but what if I'm like trying to like cut fruit? Like, let's say what I. What are you trying to slice tomatoes? You yeah. Know? What if I'm trying to slice a tomato? Mm. You know, with a big ass machete. Well, yeah. Okay, I'll take the machete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, then it's like yeah, yeah, machete, be safe than sorry. A uh, fucking uh, box of chocolates. Box of chocolates. No, what? No. Box of <laughs> box of matches. Uh, a sleeping bag. Ooh. Um, you, wait, so you're you're willing to leave uh, or to use up one of your items for a for sleeping bag? Yeah, yeah, I'll use that. This Cause, man over here. Yeah. Well, because like, what, what if happened to sleeping on a tree? What if it's cold? That's why you got your box of uh, knives. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I need a box of knives. <laughs> yeah, let me get the whole box. The... <laughs> How many come in the set? <laughs> Fucking at IKEA just buying <laughs> knives. <laughs> Good camera. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Trader Without a Radio. You already know. Bless you. No. Bless me. What's going on, Renee? How you doing, man? Uh, good. Uh, I was immediately going to go into something. He threw me <laughs> off when he asked the question. Uh, have you seen the video? It's, it's like uh, some football player who's getting interviewed, and he sneezes, and he's like, bless me. Thank you. And then he goes back to talking. Hey, he just goes, yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Stupid shit. That's what I was thinking of right now when you said. <laughs> bless me. Thank you. No. And he does both of them, too. Like, Yeah, some people are rude as hell, and like they don't even get, you can't even get blessed. Like, okay, well, bless me. No. Why do yeah. we bless people? Because, I don't know. I wasn't prepared for this. Yeah, it's like, bless you. But it's, that's not going to do anything. It's just one of those things. <laughs> I don't know. It might. Have you ever not said bless you? Did the person blow up? No. That's the thing, too. What if have they you blow ever, up? Have you ever tried to sneeze uh, while driving with your eyes open? Scariest I just, shit in the world. I just sneeze and I get it over with. But it's like, well, what's going to happen? The road's not going to fucking twist all of a sudden. That's true. You know? But or, yeah, I try not to sneeze if I'm like right behind another car. Or like I don't switch lanes while I'm sneezing or something, you know? All right. What's the difference between a man sneezing... And a man 
sneezing. Sneezing during sex. Okay, but well, hold on. I, I don't okay, know. Okay, I, I, I meant to say... Is this a metaphor like, for something? Yeah, I meant to say ejaculating, but like... was With the way you sneeze and then when you were about to finish, do you think you do the same face? N- no. No, because when you're sneezing, you're you're using your mouth, you know? Like you're sneezing, you're exhaling. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about you, but I don't. I don't <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, do that. Okay, so like, how do you know what you look like when you're about to like, you know? Well, I know I'm not making a sneezing face, but you, how do you know? You don't look in the mirror when you're. Well, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pull up the mirror. Those fucking pocket mirrors. <laughs> pocket mirrors. You fucking turn your phone camera on. That's that Johnny Bravo shit. Um. No, because like when <laughs> your you're phone sne- camera, I just got it. The, <laughs> when you're sneezing, you're you know you're. You know? Okay. And then when you're coming, like, you, I don't know what I don't, face I make. You don't, when you, <laughs> do yeah, but you? You, you, I'm sure your body you, reacts to yeah, it yeah, somehow. Yeah, you make a face, but I don't think it's the same face. See, now that's weird. Now I'm going to be thinking about sneezing next time I'm, I'm doing the, doing the thing. Doing the thing? Doing the thing. But what about, like, also, how awkward would it be if, like, okay, you, this is the first time hooking up with this girl, and then you fucking sneeze in her face while you guys are doing it? Like, I mean, especially, <laughs> especially if this is, like, now. <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm vaccinated. Trust me. No, no, no. That's that's the Moderna baby. No, no like I'm you... trying to help you out. <laughs> you said your next dose was next week. I'm trying to give it to wow. you now. <laughs> Told you keep that mask on. No. Um, true. Do you keep the mask on or on? like in the you... hypothetical random? You're at a bar. You meet a girl like today. Let's say so. COVID times. And she's like, oh, I'm not vaccinated, but I'm down to have sex with you. Hold up. Do you wait have her keep the mask on? Damn. I, I would say yes. But wait, but you're vaccinated, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but regardless, it would be kind of funny just to see if she leaves it on. <laughs> just to see like, if she does it. How down is she if she leaves it on? All right, what's what's worse? Either she is... Or, no, no, okay. Cause it's, cause I, I could tell you which one's worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, okay, like, she's anti-mask. But pro condom. Oh, that's stupid. They or anti condom or pro ma- and pro mask. Like wh- which com- which one is weirder? Uh, anti condom but pro mask because it's like, how do you, how are you risking other things but you're not risking COVID? Like yeah, yeah. So it's like she's just like I will have intercourse with you the way the Lord intended. Wow. But I'm gonna wear a mask because I don't want to get COVID. What if she's allergic to latex? Yeah, there's non latex condoms. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Would you still risk it though? Like, would you still hook up with her? Be like, all right, catch it later, and then just like, yeah, yeah snap catch the her. virus later. <laughs> yeah. What's, what are you gonna say? Slap know, her face mask. Snap. <laughs> the little the string. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's like a cute little. All right, bye. <laughs> See, but when I wave at people from across the room, oh, I'm yeah, weird. No, that's weird. That's weird as fuck. <laughs> but you're over here smacking people's masks. That's weird as fuck. And you wave at people, so you were not shaking hands before it was cool. No, I shake their... But, like, if I'm, you know, across the room, you can't shake someone's hand from across the bar. That's true. Ooh, speaking of uh, shaking hands, oh, man, I went to Jewel today. And you shook hands. I, I, I randomly, without even thinking about it, shook someone's hand. Mm-hmm. Like, it happened so fast that afterwards I was like, maybe I shouldn't have reached uh-huh. my hand out. Yeah, I ran into an old friend, and he was like, hey, what's up, man? And I was like, hey, what's up, bro? And then by the time we knew it, we were yeah. like... You were already mid shake Deep. Yeah, yeah, we are deep. And then I was like, all right, cool. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you say my Happy Mother's Day to, to like guys as well? Today I did. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this a normal thing? Well, that's... Yeah, like... Is it, like, one of those things, like... Oh, but is he going to relay the message to his mom? Like, all right, like, if I hit you up, like... Oh, dude, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. You're not a mom. No. Yeah, see, I just think that's weird. That is kind of weird. You know, like... Oh, you say... If you say, you know, tell your mom, I said happy Mother's Day, like, that's different. Is it weird telling your boys happy uh, Valentine's Day? No, nah, that's, that's, those are the homies. <laughs> This is the day ones. No, those what was it? Those, those are the mains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. Are, those are my mains. Main squeeze. Yeah, so why can't I say Happy Mother's Day, but when I say, oh, well, Happy Valentine's Day, here's a bunch of chocolate, and let me fucking su- su- surrender it. 
Ser- oh, S- wait. Uh, serenade you. Serenade you. There you go. See, I had it, and I you were thinking, saying it so long that I couldn't say it. <laughs> I was thinking Serenigade. What the hell is <laughs> the that? No. It's the uh, the new Nissan. <laughs> the, the new Serenigade. Serenigade. The all new 2021 Nissan Serenigade. Yeah. There you go. Zero percent financing. Yeah. Damn. Sign up now. You're fucking Allison Brie is uh, advertising it for the, in the commercials. Right. Okay. Oh, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, real quick aside. Uh, I don't know if you saw when earlier this week or maybe last week or at some point in the recent past, uh-huh. uh, Marvel dropped like a trailer for like their new for like season four, not season four, but like phase four of their movies. Oh, no, no, no. So they, they dropped a trailer and it was showing like, you know, clips from like the Black Widow movie and like the new uh, Eternals movie and the Chinese dude movie that I'm not sure what his name is. Uh, I'm not like going to try it. Shin Shao, Shao. Shao Kahn. No. Wow. Um, <laughs> and then weird. like the, the other movies like the the doctor strange and the universe of Mag- madness the spider-man movie and all that stuff yeah and one of them was the the new captain marvel movie but i thought it was hilarious that like she got demoted essentially because <laughs> you know when captain marvel the first one came out there's like oh yeah there's there's a second one and it's going to be called captain marvel 2 because it's the second mm-hmm. captain marvel movie now right. it's just called the marvels and it's not even focused only on Alison Bree's character. So it's not just her. It's now it's of... focused on three, at least for sure, three different Marvels. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn. So she did get demoted. Yeah. So in my head, she got demoted as fuck. All right. Look, your movie kind of flopped at the box office. So let me, uh, let yeah. me just add some coworkers. You Basically, know, yeah. So yeah. like, they're now it's you know Captain Marvel plus the um, I forgot her actual name, but the girl from WandaVision, the Black haired girl, the uh, black haired girl, the black girl with the curly hair. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, uh, Captain. I forgot what her official yeah. title is, but she oh, also, Jackson. yeah, she also has been Captain Marvel in the comics. Oh okay. And then uh, there's See, another. help if I start reading the comics. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's another girl, uh, Miss Marvel, who's like this, like uh, middle of Middle Eastern descent. Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dope. So they're gonna start bringing out the, the. The non white. Yeah, I was gonna say people of color, but I couldn't yeah. even figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't even get there. I know. Uh yeah, so now she's also in the movie. And I think they're they're talking about like there's rumors that there's one other one. But for sure there's three of them now. Whereas I didn't before know that. it was like her standalone movie. Yeah, that's dope. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm I'm happy that it worked, you know, it's gonna work out and we get to see more characters. Yeah. But I thought it was funny that she just got demoted. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 this is uh all this right. is all your movies now. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cancel that contract. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, because I remember you telling me that you didn't really like uh, the the first one, right? Yeah, higher, yeah. higher, further, faster. No, I can't even remember. Can't even remember. Yeah. Um. No, nah, that's pretty cool. I forgot where we're going with this. Uh, we were oh, talking Alice about and the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about the Nissan uh, Renegade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. That's 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 where I wanted to go with it. Uh, Nissans, right? Mm-hmm. You're on a road trip. Okay. Would you rather be stuck on a road trip with? Someone that smells or someone that doesn't stop talking? Mm. This is just a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might be the same person. No. Oh, fuck. Imagine. Kick, kick his ass off. Right. No, you got voted off the island. Um, damn, that's a, that's kind of a hard one. Cause like, that is a hard one. You don't want to be smelling this boy. And he just, he, it's just not like, it's not like he farted. He just yeah. doesn't know he like. Yeah, like yeah. he like woke up late and didn't have time to take a shower yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. You're like he got in late last night or some shit. And you shoot. know you're you're sitting Whatever. in the car for like seven eight hours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I would go with the uh, with the smell. Yeah, you can barely. Well, yeah, yeah, because like eventually, you know, it's with anything. You'll you'll go blind to it. You won't notice the smell anymore. That'll mm-hmm. just be your normal smell until you, <laughs> you like stop for gas and like oh shit and then you get back in the yeah, car like, it's oh, like fuck, it, damn, it actually smells bad <laughs> well you could also open a window you crack the window yeah crack the window open yeah. a little bit maybe but imagine even... sitting in the car with someone that just won't shut the fuck yeah that's up, what i'm man. thinking it's like bro like i don't want to talk anymore you ever just hit one of these and just turn that radio up turn, real quick? <laughs> turn it up <laughs> turn the radio up um, make sure they, they no but then they just they don't get the hit they start talking louder yeah, so anyway, like, bro, shut the fuck up. Just yeah. open the window because it's loud. <laughs> so the wind is going. <laughs> the other guy who smells is in the back, like, fuck. Wow, like, I thought they didn't smell it. Fuck it. <laughs> he's, all, he's all self-conscious. <laughs> Shit, they could smell me now. Fuck, no. <laughs> Maybe if I start talking, they won't notice. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd rather go with the smell because at least the smell, you'll eventually, 
you know, it won't bother you yeah. as much eventually. You'll get used to it. But the talking, I think that's the most annoying. If you're on a road trip, a long road trip, then you, sometimes you just don't want to talk. Especially sometimes. if you've been sitting there for like fucking five hours. Yeah, if you're driving, you're just like, no, you forget you're driving in? No. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. No, what the start fuck? Start sneezing. Uh, you start sneezing, <laughs> fucking windows hitting you. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, yeah, no, sometimes you just want to fucking chill. What's yeah. the longest road trip you've been on? Uh, did we? No, we didn't drive to Minnesota, did we? No, we flew, thankfully. That still wouldn't even be the, the furthest. That's only like six hours. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> fucking total Midwestern thing to say. <laughs> yeah, right? it's only like six yeah, hours. It's only, not bad. We'll get there in no time. Yeah, yeah. we'll be there eventually. Yeah, just uh, one, one stop. No. The longest road trip I'd ever been on like with my family was you know driving to Mexico. Yo, remember driving to Mexico? That was a, like, you know, however long it takes to get from here to Texas to the border. Yeah. And then after the border, it was like another 12 hours to get to where we were going to. Well, uh, were you like little when the use would happen? Yeah. So like... Because uh, I was going to ask, did you ever help like your dad drive or was nah, it always so, just him? Yeah. So all of these were always pre I could drive. So the last <laughs> one was a, a while ago. Yeah. So uh, I think the more recently though, when the first time I went to, to high tide in college. So the Frisbee week long Frisbee tournament in North Carolina, mm -hmm. we drove there. God damn. Uh, that was like 16 hours or some shit. 16. Something like that. It was something ridiculous. Cause we would, we left like on a Friday night and then we got there like Saturday evening. And that's you guys just driving. Just, yeah. Essentially straight driving. Like we would stop for gas and like get like yeah. fast food and then, Keep driving. Did you guys um, like crash anywhere at a hotel? No, we just drove until we got there. Damn. And it was the first. I mean, this was mostly our own fault because mm -hmm. we were stupid. Uh, <laughs> what? So because, you know, this was when we all lived together. So myself, Eric, Jose, Kobe and Mike. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, we'll just all fucking be in a car together and it'll be fucking great. But <laughs> the only person who had a car and could drive was Eric. And he had had at the time uh a fit uh like a, a honda fit that's like a little ass car no yeah and yeah. so here we were five people deep you know god damn in the fucking honda fit and holy shit was it terrible like, <laughs> and, and you know after that drive like we've been in that vehicle again yeah. multiple times and every time i'm like sitting in the back seat it's like there's no fucking way we did this yeah like, dude, there's no fucking shit. way 16 hours. But suddenly you had all your luggage and stuff. Yeah, like so that. like the you know the whole trunk was packed up yeah. and then like uh Kobe, Jose and myself were like fucking smushed up in the in the back seat. I can't even imagine that. Jesus Christ. And crazy. like it wasn't even like that much better being in the front cuz like you know there's not a lot of trunk space for yeah. five dudes for a whole week cuz we had like a regular clothes and on top of that we needed, you know, like five days worth of frisbee clothing. God damn. And so like Mike had like his bag like in his feet like in the front and like Eric had a bunch of shit everywhere too and it's, oh so you guys were just super packed it was just packed up the ass and <laughs> I remember I, I don't think we I've I've talked about this before so this is good um, the like the month before we we were gonna leave we we're like oh we should make uh, uh, vodka infused gummy bears Ooh. so we could eat those on the way. Because we can't, you know, we don't want to be like having Drinking open, driving, yeah, yeah, open containers in Eric's car in case something happens or he gets pulled over or something, you know. Yeah. And this way, that makes sense. They're fucking gummy bears. We're oh, we're just eating candy, you know. Yeah. Besides the smell and yeah, yeah. And so we we found a video, like we watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to do it, <laughs> and like it was this big ass like process. It's supposed to take like five days, like a week or something. So like you get the gummy bears, you put them in like in a Tupperware thing, okay, and then you fill it up with like a little bit of vodka. Oh, and then okay. you, you wait for like a day or so, so you can fully and, like soak. And eventually, the the vodka, the gummy bears absorb yeah. the vodka, and then you do it again, and you just kind of keep doing it until you know you get as much vodka as you want in there or whatever. Right. And so we're like, oh, okay, so we need to start this like the Friday before, or like the Monday before we leave on that Friday. Okay. Thursday night. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I was waiting for that. Yeah. Thursday night. We're like, oh fuck, we gotta buy the stuff. And we bought the gummy bears, bought the vodka, 
didn't do it because we obviously had a party that Friday, that Thursday <laughs> so you night. So probably drank the bathroom. So we, we drank and forgot all about it. Woke up Friday morning. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, we got to make the gummy bears. And so put them in the Tupperware, put the thing, and we're like, well, it's eventually just going to soak it up, right? So we just like filled it with vodka. Oh, wow. And so whatever the video said, completely <laughs> opposite. Disregard. Yeah. And we fucking threw it in there, and then we just fucking slopped them into a Ziploc bag because they nice. were still wet. It was yeah. like, oh, it'll, it'll absorb on the way. We should have put some tahini on there with some uh, <laughs> and, yeah. and so, like, we fucking had them, had them with us in the back seat, and we were, like, trying to eat them, but they tasted horrible. <laughs> it'll absorb on the way. Yeah, like, and it was just fucking <laughs> wet because of all this vodka that wasn't yeah. absorbed. And um, so eventually we just stopped trying to eat them because they tasted so bad. And we had them like under the seats. That's horrible. Uh-huh. And we forgot about it until like near the end of the trip. And so when we took the bag out, the gummy bears had like melted. Oh, and they bro. were just like a big block of gummy. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, did you stick that in the fridge or like freezer? It, well, it was still like solid. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was like yeah. a solid block so i guess it like melted at some point and then it re-hardened <laughs> that's gross uh-huh. and we're like oh well i guess that's trash and i think like jose or kobe one of them we were like oh let me let me just try it and they like took a bite out of it and like nope, nope this is going i think we threw it on the trash ah, like, bro. <laughs> like on a random pit stop at a gas station that's, somewhere yeah no you can't do that so we we basically just spent like you know, whatever a bottle of vodka and a bunch of gummy wears costs, just so we could move them from Illinois to like <laughs> halfway to North Carolina and throw them out. And fucking throw them out. <laughs> That's all That's we do. That's horrible. Yeah, no, fuck that. I don't think uh, the one time we, uh, so we drove down to St. Louis once mm-hmm. and um, our Airbnb was like in this rural, like random farm town. Okay. And we were driving uh, in like the back roads. And my my friend uh, goes, hey man, there's no cops here. We could technically like have road beers. And I was like, that sounds stupid. That's but how they get you. Let's do it. You know, uh-huh. man, we were like two road beers in, and then there was a. Uh, it was getting dark, and there's like no lights over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the road was blocked, <laughs> and the road was blocked. To our left was this abandoned like farm shack thing. Uh huh. Super haunted. On our right, it was just fields. And we're like, shit, dude, how do we get back? It's like, well, fuck, now I got to pee. And it's like, oh, man. But the car next to us were all our girlfriends. Mm. So we're like, well, should we just leave them and like go find like somewhere? Because these somewhere beers are getting warm, you know? Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Wait, but... wait, so you needed to pee so that you could drink the rest of the yeah, beer? Yeah, because we had to... Not yeah. even... <laughs> dude, because it, it was like we're in the middle of like nowhere, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, well, what do we do? And then the GPS wasn't working because the fucking... Uh, we had we're no in the signal. middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was rough, but... Yeah, road trips are fun, dude. Um, I was uh, recently, uh, last weekend, we went camping. Yeah. Man, let me tell you. I took yeah, it. so how how was that? One, you mentioned that you wrote Bro. down a bunch of random thoughts that you had. But, like, just in general, oh, like, yeah. it looked like it was really cold. And it was beautiful <laughs> no. that weekend. Bro. Here, it was oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. I know. So, yeah. So, where where we live, it, it was fucking, like, almost 80 degrees, right? Yeah. No, it was, like, 85. No, oh, not really? even not even almost 80. It was beautiful. Both On days. Snapchat, it looked like 80. No, <laughs> so we went up to the UP, they call it. It's the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Mm-hmm. Um, 45 every day. Like 45 <laughs> degrees. It was fucking freezing, bro. But we knew that, so we kind of planned ahead, you know? Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, we went camping. And, uh, man, let me tell you, do you believe in ghosts? I bet I'm going to believe in ghosts more after this story. All right. Before we even get in the weather. So (laughs) Friday night, uh, well, we left Thursday, right? Thursday, we ended up staying in Green Bay because it was like the halfway mark from our campsite. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh, let's just chill there. And it's already late. It was like 11. So we pulled into this uh, hotel. I I got on uh, Expedia. Yeah. And then it was cool. It was chill. Uh, The next day, we go drive three hours to this small wooded area like national forest thing Mm -hmm. there is a a a pond right and there is a legend behind the pond that this guy was in love with this like indian chick uh uh, pocahontas essentially uh had to show her that he loved her so much that she made him swim across the pond okay dude ends up dying right dude ends up dying now the pond is like a sacred place and like it was really nice because the water was super clear you could see all the fish 40 mm. feet down in the middle of the down. woods yeah it was really nice yeah 
But that was the legend behind it, right? So I was like, man, this guy's stupid. Why the hell would you swim across this pond trying to flex for a girl? Like, yeah. that's stupid as fuck. whole time I was there, I was talking shit about this guy, right? <laughs> so so the campground we were supposed to stay at uh, didn't open till the next day. So we stayed oh, at an okay. Airbnb, all right? Yeah. In the middle of nowhere, wooded area, dark as hell. Like, uh, we were in Mackinac City. Um, so it was, like, right by our campground. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you yeah, know, we're drinking, having fun. Like, we're at an Airbnb, so we're all chilling. Well, it's time to go to sleep, right? Right. And then uh, my buddy Ephraim and his girlfriend goes, oh, you guys could take the room. You know, we, yeah. we'll, we'll sleep on the pullout couch. We're like, all right, bet. So my girlfriend and I take the room, right? Mm-hmm. 2.45, shit starts to get weird. Okay. So we, we went to bed like at like 1.30. 2.45, I hear knocking on the door, right? Uh-huh. And I'm thinking, oh, shit, Ephraim, like he you might need some. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. And I was going to get up. And then... uh. Cindy goes, did you hear that? I was like, yeah. So you heard that knocking, yeah, right? Knocking. Yeah. So we didn't we didn't do anything about it. Ten minutes later, the knocking starts to continue, but now it's uh-huh. like on a wall near the door. Okay, so it's not even coming from the. It's door. It's not coming from the door anymore. Now it's on this wall, right? I'm sleeping on the bed, on the side of the window. Mm-hmm. She's sleeping on the side of the door in the wall. Next to that wall. Is a room that was locked the whole time, okay. which we thought was weird. But it's normal if an Airbnb. Well, yeah, most. Air, I feel like most Airbnb. Yeah, because that's where they put like the fucking cleaning stuff. Yeah, and um, yeah, we thought it was weird, but whatever. Um, the knocking continues, but now it's like irregular patterns. Okay, so, so now it's not it's, like your standard knocking. It's anymore. not a standard knock. Now it's like doon 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 doon. You know, You're just trying to make a beat. Right. Yeah. yeah it started yeah. beatboxing. No, but then it, it started going. I was like, "Yo, do you hear that?" And she's like, "Yeah." And and then it started getting more aggressive yeah. and weirder and louder. And it started moving from like wall to wall. Yeah. So it's just knocking all over the place. So at this point, I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here. So the next time it happened, she turns on her flashlight. Yeah. As soon as she turns it on, the knocking stopped like yeah. immediately. She's dead. So we're like, what the fuck? And then I couldn't sleep. I was like, yo, we're going to die. Like, I. So she's like, oh, just to be safe, get your knife from the book bag. Mm hmm. Grab my switchblade. No, my right. machete. No. Grab my machete out. Real right, quick. It was a pocket knife. No, I'm not that tough. I didn't even want to get up to get it. Right, to be honest, <laughs> I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not dying. No. <laughs> I'm not dying uh, trying to get a knife." And then she's like, "Check the window. Did you lock the window?" And I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, I checked it. Didn't check it. I was yeah. fucking terrified, you know." So then this keeps going for about an hour, dude. And at like around four o'clock in the morning, I hear footsteps upstairs. Is there an upstairs to Bro, this place? <laughs> I almost shit at myself. Uh-huh. It was fucking the scariest feeling knowing that you're hearing noises and you don't know where to go. Right. Like, because I was like, all right, if I wake everybody up, I'm going to make a big ass scene. And then, well, we're going to sleep in the car. Like, we're in the yeah. middle of nowhere, you know? And even Cindy, too, was like, all right, if it's if it's really a ghost, you got to be aggressive with it. And you got to start, like, like being mad at it. And she started doing that. So that made Do me you? believe, fuck, she really thinks it's a ghost. All right, you know? is that is that the right? Do you I've really want to agitate? I've, I've heard that from multiple people, actually. Really? That seems kind of counterintuitive to me. That you gotta let the spirit like know that you're not scared, or mm-hmm. yeah, some shit like that. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. But... Yeah, because it's something about like believing in it, or like you're uh, yeah, I you're guess. acknowledging that he's fucking scaring you or whatever. I don't know. I feel like. It's like if there was a bear in front of you, you know, right. you you wouldn't want to try to piss the bear off, you know. But no, but you want to try to look t- like but taller. Yeah, with a bear, you want to try to look tall. So I guess yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of the same shit, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, she started doing that, so that made me believe like, holy shit, she thinks it's a real ass right. ghost too. And now because I'm, I'm a chicken, it's yeah. Not just, it's not just me overreacting. Yeah. And then finally, like, I was like, fuck it, let's just sleep with the fucking phone on. So we put on a movie and like yeah. we we're trying to fall asleep. Bro, it was the scariest night of my life because... And you, you had the fucking conjuring on your phone? Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. It was so... St- wow, it's a scary-ass <laughs> movie, too. Just to fucking... It was scary, bro. Like, I don't usually, like, believe that that shit is everywhere. But when I tell you, like, that when yeah. it happens to you... And this is the second time it's happened to us at an Airbnb. The mm. first time was in Colorado. Oh, I remember you telling me about yeah. that. It was the one with the bed, no? Yeah, we felt someone walking, like, crawling on the bed towards us. Yeah. But uh, I didn't say anything till the next morning, and she said she she felt the yeah. exact same thing. Um, 
So, yeah, so it was fucking weird, man. I slept for like two hours. Next day, we slept in our tents. Mm-hmm. Best night of my life. Like, I slept like a baby, bro. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, to, to answer your question, um, we fucking, the way we, we kept warm was uh, we bought these, like, bladders, essentially, like a plastic bladder with a cap. Okay. So, you uh, boil water. And you put it in this bladder, and it lasts for, like, nine hours. Okay, and it just stays um, warm. And it's big as fuck, so you just hug it all comfy. It's like a body pillow, basically? Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, it keeps you really warm. And then we had, like, our sleeping bags, our fucking uh, blankets and shit. Yeah, I mean, sleeping bags by themselves will keep you pretty warm. Oh, it was well, it's the one that I uh, had here at your house for, yeah, for a long time. That'll keep you warm. It was warm as shit. Um, but, yeah, dude, scariest night of my life, man. Uh, so yeah, while we were camping, I was like, let me just jot down some notes for the fucking podcast. Cause I never really do that. Um, <laughs> it just stays quiet. You're... Small town people, small town people. What's your take on a small town person? Cause we, 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 we hung out in a couple of small towns Yeah, and like talked to some of the locals and I kind of have an idea of a small town person, but uh-huh. I want to hear what, well, I guess that's a, that's a weird question, because I don't think about it a lot. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a large town person, but I don't know if that comes from being so close to a large city, you know? Yeah. Cause, well, I, I would consider it. Well, yeah, and I feel like if you talk to someone from a small town, they would say that you are. Yeah. But I think just by nature of being here, you know, yeah. I, I don't feel like I am. So um, would you would you live like on a farm? And that that's what I'm trying to think of because like in my yeah. head like living on a farm like sounds kind of cool for a little bit, but then I was like that sounds boring as hell and like not not dark even as that shit I'm, too yeah mm-hmm. dark as shit like well, you got to drive like five hours to go oh to the grocery God. store and <laughs> no I, as I, when I started that sentence I didn't mean to exaggerate <laughs> that much. <laughs> <laughs> but five yeah, hours, five hours you fucking shopping in Minnesota. What are you doing? Yeah, you so like you know you gotta you gotta drive. Everything's a drive. Yeah, and then if you're trying to go somewhere, like I, I think about when I was in DeKalb, like yeah. everything in DeKalb closed like at ten o'clock. Oh yeah, like super that was early, it. Past yeah. ten o'clock, you, you were screwed. Yeah, like it was fucking Toppers and that <laughs> one liquor store. Fuck That's top. it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Which I do want to ask you about that yeah. later because I remember you asked you asked about it, but. I feel like there's a lot of conveniences that I'm just so used to from living close, like big city adjacent. Yeah. That I I wouldn't be able to function without it. Like, imagine not having fast internet again. Bro, exactly. Like just little shit like that. Yeah. Fast internet. Uh, having to fucking imagine not being able to order something on Amazon and getting it the same day. Oh my god. So we while we were driving, we were thinking like, yo, how do these people order Amazon packages? They like, wait. Yeah, but like, like fucking animals. Yeah, how long do you wait? Like, there's no two day delivery. Like, there's I'd, no. I'd be I'd be shocked if there was. I didn't see after Milwaukee. No, nah, maybe like Green Bay. I did not see one like fulfillment center like yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah, and like here we have like fucking four of them. Yeah. Like you get shit so fast. Like there was a uh, there was one place that I I ordered um what the fuck is it called a uh, uh, humidifier pad for my fucking air system thing oh nice and i ordered them on a tuesday and this wasn't from amazon this was just like a random site Uh and they got here on thursday and then they sent me the email saying that they were out for delivery a week later wait what the hell so like they got them they got the order were able to ship them to me and i was able to receive them before they even processed that they had sent them out Oh, wow. And I was like, can oh, you wow. imagine how long that would take in the middle of nowhere? Like, if you were, like, in fucking uh, whatever small city you just mentioned. Yeah. Oh, like, Mackinac? It, you yeah. Ma- yeah, Mackinac. Yeah. Like, how long would it take in Mackinac? Uh, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything was so weird. Like, yeah. it was weird. We even, uh, we went into, like, this little convenience store uh-huh. uh, to buy shit, like, uh, liquor. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it, it felt like one of those convenient store like movies you know where mm-hmm. like the the chick at the register is like 16 so she can't scan, she can't the, liquor. scan the liquor and then you got like bud lights and that's it and then like yeah, ipas fucking, yeah yeah it was weird and you got the the fat kid like mopping on the floor you know <laughs> it is weird and there's no like there's a lot less uh big chains i guess too i would imagine yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, everything's like local. Yeah, it, which we did uh, one of the nights. We um, we went to like this local burger joint. It was yeah. like a drive-in, and that sounds uh, pretty cool though. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was named uh, Clyde's like something. Clyde's ride. Clyde's yeah. ride. Get them while it's hot. No, and um, we're trying to order, and uh, we're calling a number because it said, "Oh, call this number, place your order, and we'll bring it out to you." Yeah, dude, calling literally called like fifty times. The guy next to us was like. Oh yeah, no. Keep trying. It took me like seven times to get in, and then oh, because it was like a fucking normal ass landline or something. Yeah, dude. So like, like it was one yeah. phone, you know. So then finally we we're like, fuck this. We went around, parked somewhere else, and then the lady came out and helped us out. Yeah, are you guys the idiots who've been trying to order for the? <laughs> Our phone is dead. No, nah. uh, <laughs> she's all mad. No, nah. <laughs> but, but no. The how guy, did she know? <laughs> I, I don't know. But the the guy. So dude, I mean. I'm a, I'm a big guy, right? Mm-hmm. No, this motherfucker was huge. Like, okay. you could tell he he goes there frequent. Like, he was as as the as the kids say, he, he was a unit. Yeah, he was a a unit. A unit. Apparently, that's 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 a thing. a thing. Yeah. Oh shit! Is that like a new hip like? Yeah, it's been around for a while, but I recently discovered that it's like a. I thought it was just something that a friend of mine was saying, mm-hmm. like within his friend group, but it's like a thing. Like I heard it like on a fucking national stage so if you frequently visit somewhere you... well a unit's just like a big dude oh <laughs> i thought you were talking about like a regular like like no, he's a regular at no, the store no, he's like, a regular <laughs> that's why i was like god damn he became a unit i don't get it i was trying to make that <laughs> no make so sense. apparently a unit is just like a big dude you know oh and shit. in my head a unit was always like a fucking like a, also a big dude but like a jack dude Oh yeah, because in my head that makes a like more a soldier. Sense. Yeah, like oh, yeah. this dude's a fucking unit. Like he'll fuck you yeah. up, you know. But apparently it's just a fat dude. Just a heavy dude. Yeah, it's just a heavy dude. Just a his name's like fucking Gregory or Gre- something. Yeah, I was thinking like someone with a G, like yeah. Girth. Girth. <laughs> his name's his name Girth. is Girth. Girth McGee. <laughs> well, his parents just set him up for failure. Wow, but, the skinniest kid in the world. Yeah. Hey, Girth, like, get on over here. <laughs> All right, so you're you're oh, talking with your boy Girth. I'm talking to Girth, rolls the window down. And then he's like, uh, yeah, you guys have been here before? We're like, oh, no, from, from out of town. Like, yeah. we just Googled it. He goes, oh, man, what are you, what are you guys getting? And then yeah. we essentially placed order with him. With him? You know, yeah. and he goes, yeah, I'd be careful getting that uh, big Clyde burger. That'll feed all three of you. <laughs> we're like, what? He goes, yeah, that's a big, uh, that's a big burger. It's a big ass burger. It was like a triple burger, like with, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. He goes, yeah, that'll feed all three of you. And then immediately we were like, oh, shit, I'm not getting that fucking shit. Yeah. And uh, you guys, like, everyone was getting it? Yeah, like, but he was hype. Yeah, exactly. We were all planning on getting it. He was hyping up the burgers, you know? So yeah. he's like, oh, these are really good, man. It's worth the wait. Like, believe uh-huh. me, you, you just stick around. It's going to be good. He was hyping it up. I had the burger. It was all right. It not, was not that, even it was, all right. It was like a regular, like, it was like, a, like one of those hot dog joints hot burger, dog. you know? Like, oh, a, like a like hot dog place. Like, have you ever had a burger from Cozy Corner? Yeah. Yeah, it was like nothing special, but it gets the job done. All right. So, like, if you had to comp- <clears throat> if you had to compare it to like a like a national brand or a well known brand, just mm. to put it in perspective for everyone else, it's like it's like getting a Whopper that's a little more cheesy. Okay, it's like a Whopper, but you paid for the extra cheese. But the meat is a little thicker. Uh huh. It's like getting a Culver's burger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's like a Culver's burger. Well, I, Culver's is pretty good though. Culver's is fire, but uh, okay. No, nah, see, on. so it was Wait. a bad example. You just said <laughs> Culver's know, is fire. Uh, it's like getting. Okay, it's like uh, it's like a backyard burger, but you you did caramelized onions. Okay, so it's like a store bought fucking frozen burger yeah. that you throw on the grill, but then you you put some nice stuff you, on you it. You add your own little. Put your thing. Yeah, you, you put your thing on the meat. You might get a fucking third degree burn. <laughs> might get uh, fucking. Might get closed by the health department. Why are you putting your penis on food? Should have answered the phone quicker. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. So the guy was. <laughs> You're putting it on your own burger because they didn't answer. Here, hurry up! It burns. No. Uh, uh, yeah. So the guy was hyping it up. Yeah, the guy was hyping it up, and then so that got me to think: Is he hyping it up because he hasn't had like a Culver's, or he hasn't had like a yeah, you know, that's like just a, like the like best shake shake shack this man's ever had. Yeah, yeah. and then that got me to think too: Being like closer to Chicago, is there places that we would recommend someone from out of town that's not even all that great, but we hype him up? 
like yo those those tacos yeah. at that place fire. fire and then but dudes comes... from like la he's had the best tacos in the world you know yeah, yeah okay I, I get what you're saying yeah like i feel like it's uh that that was like the perfect example of like what not to do. Like you gotta like take it with a grain of salt, you know. Like yeah. if someone comes to, from L.A. to stay with the same example, and they're like, "Oh, where can I get like a really good Italian beef or something?" Mm-hmm. You could probably just have them go anywhere, and it's gonna be better than an Italian beef they had in L.A. Cause because it, Italian beefs in L.A. really aren't a thing, you right? Know? And in Chicago, they're fucking huge, right? And like you know. So, stuff like that, and so yeah, if you're like from a small town, like there is a burger place, and that shit is fire, right? Because it's the only fucking burger place in town. Yeah, so it's like that burger place and like the McDonald's off the expressway or some shit. Oh, you know? I get it. Yeah, yeah. So that it's by comparison, it's good, but yeah, that that's weird. And that's yeah. like another like little small town thing where there's a spot, and that's mm-hmm. the spot, you know. And that got me to think too, like being in a small town. Also, hold up, you've been to Green Bay, right? No, I don't know. Oh, I thought you'd been to Green Bay. No, no, no. Why would I go to that small ass city? Right, no. Bro, exactly. <laughs> I actually don't know what Green Bay. They have the Packers there. I assume it's a decent oh, sized town. That's exactly right. Dude, okay, so we're driving in the morning because we, we drove in at night. So everything's pitch black, right? Right. Driving in the morning trying to find a Starbucks. Good, perfect sign of a small city. <laughs> You're driving at night and it's dark. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you don't even know. Our hotel was next to a fucking airport. We didn't even know. Like, what the was, fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Okay. Um, driving in the morning, trying to find a Starbucks or some type of coffee. And then our GPS took us to a Target, which makes sense. I mean, there's, there's Starbucks, Starbucks in there. Yeah. So we're driving up the street, right? And it's like very like uh, that 70s show. Like each house looks the same. Like it's yeah. very like fucking. Very like cookie cutter. Yeah. And then at the end of the block, you know, there's a there's a, a green or a red light. Yeah. We pull up to the red light. Fucking Lambo Stadium, like where the Packers play. Oh, it's just play. right fucking yeah, there. Yeah, it's just right there. Like literally, you're. Oh, so they they play in like the middle of nothing, then. Dude, it was so weird. It was like seeing like a badass stadium, but like in the neighborhood. Yeah. Creep me out super bad because I I I always thought like oh they have to play like downtown or something. I always assumed Green Bay was like a. Not necessarily Chicago, but I thought it was like a Milwaukee type. Yeah, city, right. That's you know? what I would. That's that's exactly what I used to picture too. Yeah. But oh, no, nah, not anymore. No, that shit's weird. So they just have a super loyal fan base. Yeah. And then I was thinking, too, like all those championships, fucking Larry down the street was just watching it from his yard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's fucking weird. Because, like, I wonder what the small, what, what, what major sports team plays in the smallest city? That has to be one of them. Because uh, I, I always assume that, like, every, every place that has a major league team is at least a mid-sized city. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like uh even uh Minnesota uh, where they play uh Yeah, and they have yeah, where the Vikings play and that's that's a decent sized city and technically there's two of them because they're twin cities, but <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's a decent All size. All the Minnesota Twins. Oh yeah, the Twins and then the Timberwolves. They have a lot of teams No, in but Minnesota. it's like Twin City, so yeah, they're named the twins. twins. Yes. You know, they have a lot of teams and it's it make Kind of makes sense for the size of the town. So then, what would be a small uh, Houston? No, Houston's big apparently as fuck. fucking uh, Green Bay, Green dude. Bay. That creeped me out, and I was like, "Whoa, that's Cause weird." In my head, Green Bay was a big, it was a city, like a big place. You know, no, it's fucking weird. It's like, uh, it's like smaller than Naperville. Damn! Imagine if Naperville had a major NFL team. Well, aren't Is they, that? Did I read somewhere that uh, the Bears might be moving to Hoffman Estates or like? Um, Some weird random. Uh, I don't think it was Hoffman Estates, but I, I remember reading that as well. Arlington Heights. Arlington. Why well, is that it? Maybe. I remember. It, I remember reading it. I was like, oh, that's a weird place to move. But they're legit gonna like change the name too, supposedly. Yeah, because they were trying to get rid of. Um, not get rid of. I mean, it's still gonna be there, but they were trying to move out of Soldier Field. Yeah, but that's it's... stupid because the fire just moved into Soldier Field. Oh, yeah, they're like, what the fuck? We can't have our own stadium? Fuck you! And then yeah. they left. No, <laughs> no, I think they were just upset because it's like. You know, it's one of the oldest stadiums. Yeah. But it's not, it's in that weird area of old. You know, it's not like old enough for like Wrigley Field where it's like historical. Mm. But it's old where it's like a fucking, an 89 fucking Corolla. Oh, where where like it's old, but it's just old, old. Like yeah. it's not worth anything. It's not like an eighty nine, like Mustang. You know, like oh, you know, I, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you should not be proud of. Buying right, you shouldn't it. be yeah. proud that you're rolling around in an eighty seven yeah. Corolla. 
Uh, but if you're but if you're rolling right. around in like an '87 Mustang, like oh fuck, you know that's pretty cool. Yeah. Damn, like my Saturn. Like yeah. your Saturn, exactly. Hey, no, uh, <laughs> nah. I said the exact same shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that would be weird though. Like if the Bears end up leaving. Yeah, that would be weird, and I wonder if more team if that'll give like the okay for more teams to move outside of like the actual city limits of where they play, like the Chicago yeah. Fire. Like they technically didn't play in Chicago; they played in Summit or whatever. Yeah, wherever Toyota Stadium is. Uh, br- uh Broad Bridgeview. Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Broadview. It's Broadview? just a girl standing there. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> the view a nice of a view. Broad. <laughs> She's just there. <laughs> Looks good. No. Nah. Yeah, so I wonder if that'll give more leeway for stuff like that. I, I would assume that they're going to uh, save a lot of money on fucking taxes and taxes shit. and shit. Yeah, because yeah, I know I saw that Mayor Lightfoot was like in between her dressing up ridiculous as fuck. She was like, remember Halloween where she dressed up as an anti-corona yeah, fucking hero or whatever? Fucking, yeah. What uh, was that? I, I don't yeah. know what that lady's up to. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> she's just she's It's there. like she wants to be fucking made fun of. <laughs> Yo. She snapped though with the when they were doing the cutouts, uh-huh. and then oh, it was just she her. was like a cutout of her. Yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to think like what's another. What if there's other cities that you think are big but are actually small, and you don't Ooh. realize it, like Green Bay, you know? I can see that. So like, what if? No, that's got to be big. Well, see, there you go. Like, what about Kansas City? Maybe Kansas City is actually a lot smaller than I think it is in my head, because in my head, Kansas City is big. Yeah, in my head, that shit's huge, too, because they have so many teams. Well, yeah, they have a whole bunch of teams, and then um, uh, one of the – it's number one or number two. One of the top two healthcare systems in the United States is based out of Kansas City. Oh, so yeah? It's, like, they, it's got to be big if they it's have that be. and all these sports teams. That's true. And barbecue. Ooh. You know? Yeah. So, like, weren't you trying to go to Kansas City this year? Yeah, that that was like during major lockdowns where I was like, I'm just trying to go somewhere where it'll be <laughs> worth going. Well, wouldn't it be dope though to kind of do like a tour of of the U.S. in a way? Yeah, it's just like expensive. that would be pretty. Wait, what? <laughs> it's just expensive. Well, yeah, yeah. No, but it would be. I mean, so we were trying to figure out how we could do, um, fucking, uh, just like like affordable trips, right? Like camping is pretty affordable because we only spend money on like food and shit, right? Um, like gas and. The campground and <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're going, getting expensive. Uh, hold up, and then there was that Starbucks. No, nah. well, I mean, g- yeah, generally it's yeah. cheaper than like getting a hotel. But like, um, yeah, that'd be dope. Like driving to city or like even flying into a major city, but then going to like cities near it. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty dope. Well, yeah, that's that's what uh, Mike and I did when we flew into Denver, and then we drove to Salt Lake City. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that was that was pretty cool. I would I would do that again. Yo, Salt Lake City. Oh, they have the Jazz. Yeah, they have the Jazz. I was thinking they don't have a baseball team. Salt Lake Jazzers. Well, no, the Jazzers. Well, the Jazzers. Yeah, right. They're jazzier than the Jazz. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're all there. No. Uh, jazz. Yeah, fingers? I guess not. But yeah, Salt Lake City is pretty big. What if like Arizona? What if Phoenix is small? Because I've never seen pictures of Phoenix. I've never been to Uber driver. Uh, yeah, maybe. But see the. Or they're like, like a fucking desert, though. Like they, they have to be big. I get well, like a uh, fucking um, what the the other desert town, Las Vegas. La- yeah, thank you. I yeah. know you exactly <laughs> knew what I was talking about. Like yeah. Las Vegas is actually really small. Like it's like oh, yeah. the strip, and then like that's it. And then it's like fucking desert shit. Yeah. yeah. So it's technically really small, but there's just it's just so fucking concentrated. And that's the thing, like us being near Chicago. Are are we just like? Are you just like are fucking? Are we the uh, desert outside what, of? No, what's the LA, word or that LA. you just used to having like a good life? Yeah, you're like you're just accustomed to it. Yeah, and that that's what I think it is. Like I feel like we don't notice it, but then all of a sudden, let's say you know, like five G is coming out, right? Mm-hmm. Or is out, whatever you want to say. It's rolling out in major cities. The towers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking that's COVID. What's up? No. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Well, just please get your shot. <laughs> yeah, don't don't hook up a Renee unless you got your shot. Don't go on any dates with Renee unless you got your fucking five G does not give you COVID. And we're I gonna just, need if you got Johnson Johnson, you're out. Man. I just I had to throw that in there real wow. quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, like 
okay, so 5G came out, and then I got like an alert on my phone. It's like, hey, if you have a compatible device with 5G, you're going to be switched up to 5G. Now, imagine you're in fucking the middle of fucking nowhere, and like they don't even have 4G yet. Yeah, that's horrible. Like, imagine gonna, having to live on a 3G network. Oh, bro, I can't even imagine. How are you going to receive and send text messages? Like, it's got to take a long time for you to send a fucking Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know? like, even... Even when I'm driving somewhere and, like, my internet drops to, like, 3G, I was like, oh, there's no fucking point. Like, I'm not even going to try to load anything. <laughs> well, you, you know? just immediately give up? Like, ah, well, fuck this. I'll yeah, just... like, this is going to be so bad. I don't I don't want to deal with it. Well, when we were camping, uh, I mean, we didn't have any signal. And I was like, fuck, how am I going to play music? Yeah, oh, like, I didn't, yeah, I didn't back you, up an uh, offline uh, Yeah, you didn't do playlist. anything offline. No. So then that that's another thing, too. Like, You got to back your shit you up. You probably have, living in a small town, you probably have really good internet at home. Yeah, and so you got to do all your shit at home. Like that's yeah. the people. Oh, that's the people where where all these like download and offline features really come into play. I feel like. Oh yeah, for so, sure. Like, those are the people that are like downloading uh, like Netflix yeah. uh, shows to watch offline. Those are the people downloading their Spotify things. Which honestly, everyone should do that if you have Spotify. Just download your shit. Honestly, download um, the the episode. Yeah, just download the episode yeah. and stuff like that. You know. How does XM Radio work? Because we were listening to XM Radio on this road trip, yeah. and I was thinking, how the fuck... Well, it's know. just a satellite. Yeah, but why is this so, like, perfect? Because it's a fucking satellite. So why don't they switch, like, FM radio to satellite? Because it's expensive. And then you'd have to pay for FM radio. Yo, for real. Yeah. How many people listen... Do you still listen to the radio? Not since COVID started. No, right? Because even before that, I would only listen to the radio on the drive to and fro... No, just two. Just two work. I would listen to drive to work. Eric and Kathy? Eric and Kathy in the morning. I was listening to... Actually, I'm lying. I was listening to them the other day. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember. They got a third person now. Yeah, Eric... Uh, well, now it's not Eric and Kathy. Kathy's been gone for a long ass time. Oh, shit. Um, it's Eric and Melissa with Whip. I listen That's to them every day for like a year. Whoever this Eric guy is, amazing voice. Yeah. I love his voice. I think he has one of my, he's probably one of my favorite like on air personalities. Voices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I would listen to them every morning on the drive to work because it was just entertaining and I don't want to think about what to play. So was, these guys are chill. I wish we had a radio. And uh, <laughs> no. And no, since COVID, then I, I just stopped. I haven't heard. I'll listen to the radio maybe every once in a while when I'm driving somewhere. Yeah. But it's like infrequent and I, it's just whatever happens to be on. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's like on short drives, really. Then small towns, do they have radios? Well, yeah, they, they got radio. They probably have like a bunch of local radio stations. Like that Rockford would be kind has, of fire, though. has its own stations, I think. Yeah. And like it's only in the Rockford area. Like as soon as you're like getting to DeKalb, like it starts getting choppy. Yeah, because some of my stations don't work when I'm out in Aurora. There you go. See? Yeah. That's how you know that but Aurora's like, I, too far away from the city. But then I remember, like, La Ley would be you out. You lost over that. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too far, right? And then why doesn't the radio stations work, Trado? Why don't the Chicago the sh- radio stations work? The Aurora Bears. No. <laughs> Imagine, yo. Would you buy it? Would you buy Did I send you the Snapchat? I was in fucking Walmart and I saw a, a Monopoly board that oh, was yeah, all that was Aurora. Aurora. Yeah, creeped that was me weird. out. Yeah, it creeped me out. I've never, I, I didn't know that. Like all exists. the street, like, all who the made stops. That? Yeah, Hasbro. Like How? it was a legit. Like, Aurora just reached out to them. It's like, yo, you trying to hook it up? Apparently, they're like big. Like the city of lights. What lights? No. What lights? It's dark as fuck after who's, seven. Who's paying no. for all these lights? No. Turn lights off. <laughs> you uh, got all these lights, but I can't fucking listen to uh, B96 <laughs> out here. You got all these satellites, but no fucking FM radio. You know? What's wrong with you guys? Uh, uh, real quick, last on my list. Actually, uh-huh. I have a lot, but... Um, last on the list for today. What would you use to survive in the wild? Uh, so I need... All right, yeah, fuck it. Let's do that, that old question. You, you get five household items to survive in the wild. To survive thirty days in the wild, what All are right. you taking? And I'm just trying to survive. Like after thirty days, someone comes picks me up. Yeah, and, like or, it's okay. scheduled. You're out there for thirty days. Okay. I mean, real shit hits the fan. Yeah, you, you'll get picked up. But All right. Um, let me see. What what did uh what did Michael Scott had? Like yeah. the the four. Like you're not on an island. You're, you're <laughs> fucking Michael Scott. But yeah, so he had his, uh, his clothes off. His dress pants. 
a tripod, a camera. <laughs> That's exactly what he had. Yeah. What else did he have? Uh, fucking a hut that he made out of branches or some Didn't shit. Did he pee on his shirt and put it on his head? <laughs> no. <laughs> to keep going. <laughs> and he had a knife because he cut his pants because he was hot. Stupid. And then he, t- oh, he had a roll of tape. That's the other one. Because mm-hmm. he taped the pants back together. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um. All right. I think I would need like a a box of matches. Ooh. Okay. Because I don't know how to light a fire. I'm telling you, it's hard. No. Exactly. So just give me a box of matches. I'll get the shit and the dry shrubs and shit to start it. But just, there you go. You know, light it up and yeah. There we go. I don't. I don't need to be struggling and trying to. You don't make got the, rock, the spark or whatever. Spinning the. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not trying to do all that. So okay. So I, a box of matches for sure. Uh. I'd want to say a, this is where I'm torn because I would want to have some sort of knife, but I don't know if I would, Ooh. if it would be practical for like a pocket knife and a machete because then that's using up two items. Yep. I was about to say but that. if I only have a machete, are there going to be stuff that I can't do because it's too big, you know? And if I only have a pocket knife, is there stuff that, you know, what if a fucking uh, koala attacks me or some shit? You know, I don't. I'm not trying to stab the. Yeah, but you got a machete as ass. Well, yeah, but what if I? Oh, I what if I take the pocket knife instead of the machete? Because now I can do small knife things to like cut trees or some shit. You yeah, know. But wouldn't you rather cut trees with a bigger knife too? Yeah, but what if I'm like trying to like cut fruit? Like, let's say what I. What are you find... trying to slice tomatoes? You know? Yeah. What if I'm trying to slice a tomato? Mm. You know, with a big ass machete. Well, yeah. Okay, I'll take the machete. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because then it's like uh, yeah, yeah, it better be safe than sorry. A fucking uh, box of chocolates, box of chocolates. No, what? No. Box of <laughs> box of matches, uh, a sleeping bag. Ooh, um, you wait. So you're you're willing to leave uh, or to use up one of your items for a for a sleeping bag? bag? Yeah, yeah, I'll use that. This man over here. Yeah. Well, because like, what, what if happened to sleeping on a tree? What if uh, it's cold? That's why you got your box of uh, knives. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I need a box yeah. of knives. <laughs> yeah, let me get the whole box. Though. How many come in the set? <laughs> Fucking at IKEA, just buying <laughs> knives. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I guess I would need. Oh, you know what? One of those. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's YouTube videos that pop up every so often that show me it. Like one of those like cool straws that like purify water. Yeah, I have seen that actually. One of yeah. those. Yeah, that'll be really smart. Yeah, yeah one of those. And then... You get fucking the runs in the wild. What are you going to do? Oh, shit. Do I want to use my last item for like toilet paper? Ah, that's just being bougie. That's the word I was looking for. Bougie. No, I want to be bad and bougie. No. <laughs> just wiping your fucking. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Shit. No, no. There's got to be something more important than uh, fucking toilet paper. Think uh, about it, though. Toilet paper could come in handy when you're building a fire, too. That's true. But even that, I mean, that's also it's burn thirty up. days. Yeah, that's you're a, gonna that's end up wild. running running out of toilet paper. Well, I just get like a you know, I just go buy more no. <laughs> at a store. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring a Walmart with me. Yeah, bring the girl at the Walmart too, and she can check you out. Um, yeah. maybe uh, <laughs> just the whole ass Walmart. Stupid. Not a. <laughs> I don't even know how that would work. Like, I don't want to say a whole ass grill, but like. You like the metal thing that you that you have in a grill? Just yeah, so I yeah. Can put that over the fire. I think that's called a grill. No, so it, <laughs> what well, is that metal thing called? The grill, right? The grill. Is that the, that's the grill because right? the grill is a grill, right? Well, okay, because like you have the whole ass thing, and right. that's called a grill. But the, that's like the. But base. what are the pieces called? You know, the metal thing. The, the metal bars, thing is the actual grill. That's Everything a grill, else right? is just the base, right? It's just holding the grill. Yeah. But then you have the the ignite. The igni- well, yeah, yeah, the if it's like a gas one, yeah. Oh, propane? No. Yeah, and propane. Like a hand kill? No. Yeah, so like a grill thing, so I can cook over whatever okay. fire I make. I think, well, obviously it's me, so I'm still going to fucking struggle, but I think that would make it so I'd have a <laughs> chance at making it 30 days. I think you could, yeah, I think that's a good, damn, that's a, yeah. I think that's a good list. All right, so knives. Knives, box of matches, sleeping bag, uh, the grill. Oh, you got one more. And the, no, I, I said, because the toilet paper was going to be the last one. What the fuck? I lost one. Hold on. It was the knives, sleeping bag, the grill, uh, box of matches. And then what the fuck was this one? The fucking, the Walmart? No. The Walmart? No. <laughs> I work at put my Walmart? No. Uh, 
Shit, what was it? I don't know. I don't think he said one. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll see if I can remember it. What, what would your five be? <laughs> All right. My five. I'm going to need a... Uh, uh, I'm going to need my bar room. I'm going to need an nah. extension cord. <laughs> nah. Uh, all right. So my five would be for sure a machete. Okay. Right? Machete. I'm going to need... Um, oh, no. That's what mine was. It wasn't knives. It was machete. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, but keep going. A machete. Uh huh. I'm gonna need a jacket, okay. like one of those puffy, big puffy jackets. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna need. Wait, I'll take that back. <laughs> I'll substitute the jacket for a gun. Oh, right? so you're just trying to shoot people now? I'm just trying to survive. No. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you're out in the woods. Though. I mean, you're gonna run into Bro, an animal. Yeah, maybe? a fucking bear come out and like. It just be big. No. no. <laughs> be big, be big. Uh, fuck. Okay, maybe not a gun. Uh, I mean, that's not a bad idea, honestly. You could hunt. Oh, oh you could uh, hunt. I think my I didn't say my last item. Yeah, I was gonna say a fishing like a, net. A fishing gun? What'd you what? say? What? A harpoon? <laughs> <laughs> Just hear the spear go. Yeah. No. Um, I was gonna say uh, a box of some non-perishable food. He's like, I don't know how good I am at hunting. Maybe I suck. Yeah, that's true. Then what if you what if you gotta like survive on like apricots and like walnuts? Yeah, so like I would want like a box of something that I could eat. Like oh, like those like uh, Chef Boyardee. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> those military bags, like those MREs oh, yeah, or whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah, Where, yeah. But then it's like chicken fajitas, and then he just gotta yeah, you shake just, the bag, you shake and heat the it bag, up. and add water. Yeah, yeah. That's actually kind of dope. Actually, hold up. Yeah, no. I would get one of those, but I would try to not use them. Like I would, tr- I would actually try to like yeah. survive. You know, I think it'd be. I think you could like fish. Well, I didn't bring a fishing rod. Ah, uh, you're fucked. Oh, maybe I could use the. No. Oh, maybe you could use the. What were you gonna think? The fucking uh, machete. Start <laughs> just fucking swipe me. Imagine if like, I hit something, I hit something. <laughs> eventually, eventually you just fucking fish is all shit no. <laughs> fuck he's back have you seen that video it's like a tiktok or whatever it's like the fish with the two eyes the human eyes and the mouth uh uh-huh. yeah, yeah so it's a video of this guy throwing a big ass rock over the bridge uh-huh. and the it's falling in the water <laughs> and the like, fish the is fuck? <laughs> see that's you but with the fucking machete. <laughs> the machete uh yeah fuck it i mean all right, so you got your machete, and then you said you were going to take a know. puffy like, ass jacket, but okay. you took it back. Machete, no, fuck it. Machete, puffy ass jacket. Okay, I'm gonna take. Um, do I want some type of entertainment? Because thirty days is a long time for you. I being was, by I yourself. was thinking about that, but do I want to take? What if I start reading some cool shit like? Take a bunch of books and yeah. come back as a flat earther. Oh, imagine! <laughs> oh my god, no. It's like I had tried to say, how was it? Well, the Earth is actually flat. No. Yeah. Why so you, uh, can you imagine like the fucking how fucking confident in yourself you have to be to argue that the world is flat as you're in a helicopter and you can fucking see, see the, the curve? <laughs> no, 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 that's a simulation. <laughs> the world is actually flat. Look, the only reason I haven't fallen off yet is because I brought a jacket. No. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. I don't even know, dude. Uh, yeah. Jacket. Fuck it. A book. Okay. Machete. Machete. Fuck, I'm going to start a fire. Gotta Flame torch. <laughs> oh, well, okay. And. Uh, you got two items left. A CD player with no CDs. A CD player with no CDs. Think about it. Yeah, what the fuck? So you're just wasting an item. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, think about it? Think the more about I it. think about it, the worse it gets. <laughs> What, what if a bear comes? Well, you don't have any batteries for that CD player? What like, the fuck uh, are you doing? Are you going to throw it at the bear? <laughs> like you, didn't even, you, didn't even, <laughs> you didn't even bring headphones. <laughs> you just brought a CD player. <laughs> That's the most useless item you could ever think of. Though. <laughs> like, what purpose does it have? Oh, shit. No um, batteries, no just the Sony Walkman, just yeah, fucking, just the fucking Walkman, no cassettes, and it's very Acapella. big and like it's gonna hurt you and you try to sleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so you got your puffy jacket, you got your machete, you got your uh, oh fuck, flamethrower, flamethrower. You got two items. You got two items left. Yeah, or if you want to keep the Walkman, you got one item left. I got no signal. I, I guess not. You're in the middle of the woods. So I was gonna say I could just use my phone and like 
<laughs> what pre-download stuff? <laughs> small Spotify. town, small town motherfucker out here. <laughs> well, because the way I see it is, if you bring your phone, that's an item. But then you got to bring like a power brick or something to charge and your that's phone. That's two items. And that's yeah. two items. You know. Which, I mean, if you're cool with that, you're cool with that. Yeah, fuck it. Those are my last two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a portable charger and my phone. Like a fucking uh, friend of mine who fucking keeps moving, so it gets hard to keep track of where he lives. I think he lives in Denver now. Uh, <laughs> nice. He probably still has it, but he had this um, solar uh, battery charger. Oh, so, I've seen those. Yeah, yeah, he just fucking put it out on the fucking you know, roof of his car or whatever, and then just plugged it in and charged his phone. It's That's like pretty dope, cool. actually. That's dope as fuck. So one of those you would need. Yeah. Also, camping. I was like, weeks before we left, I was looking up all this cool like camping shit they sell. Yeah. Bro, they think of everything. Well, see, here's my thing with camp. Uh, I feel like we don't have any. Uh, we have we, we, we can save it, it for next week. All right. Where are we at? We're an hour and two. Here's my thing about camping. No, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we can save it for next week. All right. Week. We'll save it. We'll uh, save it. Train Without a Radio. We are now streaming on every platform. Including As we small always town were. cities. Including, ooh, imagine? Damn. What, what do you mean imagine? It's on the internet. I mean, sure, it takes a long time for them to load it. <laughs> but they got the 3G, bro. They got the 3G. Yeah. Uh, Trevor That Radio, thank you for tuning in. As always, make sure you thank your mom for giving you birth. Facts. Yep. Thanks. <laughs>